is time to go to school with Fox 5. And with tomorrow being Earth Day, we thought it would be a great idea to learn about a different way to uh, grow plants. And joining me now from Green Our Planet is Chris Anderson. Thanks so much for joining us. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me. So much fun to be here. Let's first start off talking about your wonderful organization. You're doing such great work right here in Southern Nevada and all over the nation. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so Green Our Planet is a conservation organization that uh, builds school gardens. So we do indoor and outdoor gardens and uh, we try to connect kids to the earth and uh, teach about STEM. And let's talk about now with, of course, school being out and kids at home, uh, you have your virtual actual Green Planet. So let's talk a little bit about what you're uh, teaching all of us today. Yeah, so we uh, just launched our virtual academy and we are able to reach, reach uh, students and teachers through video. So today I'm going to show you how to build a cool hydroponics unit uh, using things that you probably already have at your house. So hydroponics is the way to grow plants without soil. Okay, let's and go. So, I was going to say, okay, now they can just use any glass they might have at home, a vase. So what I'm using is a bottle. This is a plastic bottle that um, I just cut the top off. So I cut the top off of the, of the bottle and I turn it upside down, put some water in the bottom, and then I'm going to insert, let me pull this up here. I'm going to insert a wick. So the wick is just a piece of fabric. I have some kind of, um, kind of like t-shirt fabric that I put in here, that's going to bring the water up from the bottom of the system up to my plant. I'll be putting my plant in here. I'm going to need a little bit of a planting pod. So I built something out of a piece of egg carton and some paper towel. I have a seedling that I started in a piece of paper towel in my window. And that seedling, if you don't have that, where can you get that? So, I started this from just the seed that I had at my house, but I've been using beans. This one that's in here, I just found some beans in my cabinet and I've been using those. But any seeds at all, any garden seeds that you have, any kind of plant seed, something that you find outside, you can totally just sprout that seed. So this seed has been sprouted already. I'm going to wrap it in a little piece of paper towel and I'm going to put it inside my little piece of egg carton here. This just makes a little planting pod for it, so it has somewhere to sit. I'm going to place it into my bottle, and I have a bunch of pebbles that I just got outside. I'm going to place the pebbles all around that inside, and I'll show it to you here in just a minute. Oh, I can't so I have my, see it. So here are my pebbles all up inside here. And the wick is standing up inside as well. That'll bring the water up to my little seedling. And pretty soon, this one will be growing too. Oh, and you just give it a little sunlight, right? Put it by a windowsill? Put it by a windowsill. We add a little bit of uh, nutrients. Little Maxi Grow is a good hydroponic nutrient, but you can use other kinds of plant food as well. Oh, and on your wonderful website, you have so many of these great ideas and projects for the kids to do. Great videos as well. We had one with Drew Brees. We have so many people behind your cause. Tell us where we can get more information and how our giving community can help you guys out as well. Of course. So just please join us at greenourplanet.org. Uh, if you want to check out the Virtual Academy, you can go slash Virtual Academy. There's a button there as well. We have fresh weekly content for students and teachers and parents. And uh, you can always search the archives. Oh, thanks again for joining us. And thank you so much for, for doing. Happy Earth Day to you, my friend. Thanks. You too. All have right. A great, have a great day. You 